Our bodies are a complex network of organs, tissues and cells, all working together to keep us alive and thriving. Among these, the circulatory system plays a vital role, transporting oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. At the heart of this intricate system lies the endothelium, a thin layer of cells lining the inner surface of our blood vessels. Think of it as a delicate yet powerful inner lining that interacts directly with our blood. The endothelium is not just a passive barrier. It actively participates in maintaining vascular health by regulating blood flow, blood pressure, and blood clotting. This remarkable layer produces substances that control these processes, ensuring smooth and efficient circulation. A healthy endothelium is crucial for overall cardiovascular well-being. However, this delicate balance can be disrupted, leading to a condition known as endothelial dysfunction. Endothelial dysfunction, or ED, is like a glitch in the intricate machinery of our blood vessels. It occurs when the endothelium, our body's inner lining, loses its ability to function optimally. This dysfunction disrupts the delicate balance within our blood vessels, leading to a cascade of events that can harm our cardiovascular health. Imagine a garden hose with a smooth inner lining, allowing water to flow effortlessly. Now, picture that lining becoming rough and uneven, obstructing water flow. Similarly, ED disrupts the smooth flow of blood, increasing the risk of various cardiovascular complications. ED is often a silent threat, developing gradually over time without noticeable symptoms. However, its impact on cardiovascular health is significant, underscoring the importance of understanding this condition. Endothelial dysfunction involves several key mechanisms that disrupt normal blood vessel function. One crucial mechanism is impaired vasodilation. The endothelium produces nitric oxide, or NO, a potent vasodilator that relaxes blood vessels, allowing them to widen and improve blood flow. ED reduces NO production, impairing the blood vessel's ability to dilate properly. This can lead to reduced blood flow and increased pressure within the vessels. Another critical mechanism is inflammation. ED promotes inflammation within the blood vessel walls, attracting immune cells and contributing to plaque buildup. This inflammatory process further damages the endothelium and exacerbates ED, creating a vicious cycle. Numerous factors can contribute to endothelial dysfunction, increasing the risk of developing this condition. One of the primary culprits is cardiovascular risk factors, which are conditions or habits that damage blood vessels over time. These risk factors include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, and obesity. Each of these factors can directly or indirectly damage the endothelium, impairing its function. Another significant contributor is metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions that often occur together, increasing the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other health problems. Metabolic syndrome encompasses conditions like increased waist circumference, high blood pressure, elevated triglyceride levels, low levels of good cholesterol, or HDL, and insulin resistance. These factors can promote inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which contribute to ED. Section 5. Consequences of Endothelial Dysfunction A Domino Effect Endothelial dysfunction sets off a chain reaction within our cardiovascular system, leading to several serious consequences. One of the most significant consequences is atherosclerosis, a condition where plaque builds up inside the arteries. ED promotes plaque formation by increasing inflammation, promoting blood clotting, and impairing the blood vessel's ability to repair themselves. As plaque accumulates, it narrows the arteries, restricting blood flow and increasing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Another consequence is hypertension or high blood pressure. ED reduces no production, a potent vasodilator, leading to constricted blood vessels and increased pressure within the arteries. This persistent high blood pressure further damages the endothelium, creating a vicious cycle 
that exacerbates both ED and hypertension. Section 6. Diagnosing Endothelial Dysfunction – Unmasking the Silent Threat Diagnosing endothelial dysfunction can be challenging because it often presents no noticeable symptoms in its early stages. However, early detection is crucial for preventing serious cardiovascular complications. One method for assessing endothelial function is flow-mediated dilation, or FMD. This non-invasive test measures the blood vessel's ability to dilate in response to increased blood flow, a process regulated by the endothelium. Another approach involves measuring endothelial biomarkers, which are substances in the blood that indicate endothelial damage or dysfunction. These biomarkers can provide valuable insights into the health of the endothelium and the presence of underlying cardiovascular disease. Section 7. Lifestyle Modifications – Taking Charge of Your Vascular Health Addressing endothelial dysfunction often involves a multifaceted approach, with lifestyle modifications playing a crucial role. Adopting a heart-healthy lifestyle can significantly improve endothelial function and reduce the risk of cardiovascular complications. One of the most impactful lifestyle changes is quitting smoking. Smoking damages blood vessels, increases inflammation, and promotes blood clotting, all of which contribute to endothelial dysfunction. Another essential change is adopting a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein sources. This type of diet provides antioxidants, fiber, and other nutrients that support endothelial health. Section 8. Pharmacological Interventions – Medical Aids in the Fight In addition to lifestyle modifications, Pharmacological interventions can play a role in managing endothelial dysfunction and mitigating its consequences. Medications can help control risk factors like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes, reducing their impact on the endothelium. Statins, a class of drugs that lower cholesterol levels, have also been shown to improve endothelial function. These medications work by reducing inflammation improving nitric oxide production, and stabilizing plaque within the arteries. Angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors and angiotensin II receptor blockers are another class of medications that can benefit individuals with endothelial dysfunction. These drugs help relax blood vessels, lower blood pressure, and reduce the workload on the heart, all of which contribute to improved endothelial function. Section 9. The Importance of Early Detection and Management Endothelial dysfunction is a silent threat that can have serious consequences for cardiovascular health. Early detection and management are paramount in preventing the progression of endothelial dysfunction and reducing the risk of complications like heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular events. Regular checkups, including blood pressure monitoring, cholesterol screenings, and blood glucose tests, are essential for identifying risk factors and detecting early signs of endothelial dysfunction. If risk factors are present or endothelial dysfunction is diagnosed, lifestyle modifications and pharmacological interventions can help manage the condition and protect cardiovascular health. Section 10 protecting your endothelium. A lifelong commitment. Protecting our endothelium is not a one-time event, but rather a lifelong commitment to maintaining cardiovascular health. By understanding the causes and consequences of endothelial dysfunction, we can make informed choices that support the health of our blood vessels. Adopting a heart-healthy lifestyle, managing risk factors, and seeking regular medical care are crucial steps in this journey. Remember, a healthy endothelium is vital for overall well-being, and by taking proactive steps to protect it, we can significantly reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and live longer, healthier lives.